Hey everyone, it's Mess here. This is my very first video commentary. I've played a lot of Battlefield 3 and I've made a ton of videos, but uh, this is my first commentary. So I figured I'd start with something simple, just uh, do do a little bit of TDM gameplay on Damavon Peak. And I'm going to talk about several topics related to the footage, uh, namely accuracy and overall TDM strategy. And yes, Contrary to popular belief, there is more strategy involved in TDM than just shooting people in the face. Um, so in this round, I think I go, uh, I think I have a 4.6 KDR and about 28% accuracy. I'll put the battle report uh, in the comment or in the info section so you can check that out. Not necessarily my best round or anything to write home about, but still a pretty solid performance from an aiming perspective and perfectly suitable for what I'm going to talk about. Now, you notice on the spawn, I'm uh, kind of working the perimeter here, slow playing it a bit, surveying the situation. In TDM, your enemy is going to be spawning in a certain area. You just want to kind of figure out where they are spawning at that moment and get to it so you can try to work the flanks. See, I catch a guy I'm trying to rush around the corner because I'm, I'm slow playing it, taking it easy. I know there's a guy up in this tower, so I'm just going to peek. And burst fire and get a headshot on him. I, you know, in all likelihood, a better player probably would have taken me out there because he's got the high ground. But your average pub player is not going to be super accurate. So my general philosophy when playing TDM is to constantly work the perimeter, work the outside edges of the map, and try to get behind people to get large groups of kills rather than just say one or two at a pop. Now this may You'll have larger gaps of non-engagement this way, but I feel like you get a better payoff when you get behind a large group of them and get some easy kills. This is a perfect example right here. I've gotten behind a large group of them who are engaged with my teammates in the other direction. So I'm burst firing here, using the pillar as cover. Drop my med pack to keep myself healed, and I get four quick easy kills just from working the perimeter. Using, using the edges of the map, using the flank. And I actually believe that guy spawned behind me, so there's not much you can really do about that. Overall, pretty good start. And off the spawn, again, I'm going to work the perimeter of the map, try to get behind the enemy in their spawn if I can do that. Uh, you'll see I'm using the M416. Uh, it's gotten buffed since the latest patch. It was a really good gun before the patch, so I'm not sure why DICE felt they needed to improve upon it, but it's got really, really tight accuracy, it's easy to control, very little recoil, and the recoil is actually what was reduced in the, in the patch, so it's a great gun to use. I'm currently using the Heavy Barrel, Underslung, and the Cobra Sight. Um, you'll see I'd like to burst fire just to keep things accurate, although in that case I probably could have fully autoed just because it was so close and the rate of fire of the 416 is so slow. I actually made a mistake there rushing up on that recon guy with the MP7. That's just a that's a battle you're going to lose most times against good players up close because the MP7 fires so fast and it's so accurate with the laser sight at that range it's just going to beat the 416 every time. So that, that leads me to my next point. You want to play to the strengths of the gun you're using. Um, <clears throat> what I mean by that is the 416 is great at mid to long range. And if you can exploit your gun's advantages to your opponent's gun's disadvantages. Now, you're not always going to know what gun they're using, but you can kind of guess the, uh, what most people use. Or you know, you start to figure it out. So like I said, in that case, I was going up against a guy who had an MP7. You know, MP7 is great at close to mid-range. He's going to beat me every time because of the accuracy and the, the rate of fire. So what I want to do is play to his gun's weaknesses and my strength, which is distance. Make sure I'm far away from him. He can't close the distance to get take advantage of his rate of fire and accuracy. And you can take him out before he can even get in range to use his gun's strength. So you'll notice here I'm still playing at range with the 416 kind of happen upon a guy who's just trying to do a little camping. But I'm always kind of playing from that mid to long range, aiming down sights, looking to get some uh, some easy kills on people who basically aren't even looking at me. 
So I've worked my way around the perimeter of the map, basically doing ring around the rosy, and you see I got behind probably four or five of them there. I uh, didn't capitalize as much as I should have, kind of playing conservative here, but again, you don't want to get over aggressive. If you find yourself in a good position, a lot of times players would get overly excited and try to rush in like Rambo and kill four or five guys. Most times that's not going to be successful. So what you want to do is just try to maintain your good position and get as many kills as you can while you're still alive. So here I'm still kind of pursuing these guys who it looks like my teammates have already pretty much wiped out. But I'm playing behind cover, using a lot of head glitch spots and trying to, and here's a guy who my teammate takes out before I can. But you see I've made it back to the edge of the map again because we basically closed them out of their spawn and their spawn has rotated to the opposite side. So that's this is one of the few times you'll see me just kind of yep. make a beeline through the center of the map because uh, you basically know that the enemy is all the way on the other side at this point because that's where they're spawning. And you can check your mini-map to, to confirm this. There's always a few stragglers that you might run into. But uh, like that guy right there who I Got lucky to headshot. He actually had the drop on me, but uh, due to hitting him in the head and he just hit me in the body, I actually take him out first. And taking out the enemy equipment is always important, especially those tugs. The tugs are huge because you know where your enemy's at and you can see them on the minimap. It's that much easier to get the drop on them. And they uh, died from bad luck trying to go under the railing. Not really sure exactly what happened there, but uh, good game dice maybe. <laughs> Uh, continuing here, I'm exposing myself a bit too much in, in this spot. In my opponent, he's he's got a good head glitch spot. Well, I actually got shot from someone else up there, but uh, the guy I was engaging was peeking over a wall, and I'm just standing out in the open. That's just a that's poor play on my part. You need to immediately seek cover, especially if your opponent is in a spot like that. Now, uh, <clears throat> on to just general tips when playing TDM or when playing any type of battlefield, uh, you want to try to maintain your advantage. Um, and that's that can manifest itself in many different ways. I see right there I was getting taken out by the MP7, close quarters. He had an advantage on me because of the rate of fire his gun and the accuracy of it at close range. Now, I probably should have taken him out. I was just poor aiming on my part, but uh, in general, he had an advantage there in that in that position with the, the faster rate of fire gun and better at close quarters to my gun. Now other ways you can maintain an advantage on your opponents. Use cover like I said. Find a, a head glitch spot. Um, you certainly want to seek cover whenever you're reloading. You don't want to get caught with your pants down reloading and you happen to, across a guy and he takes you out. I mean that's always frustrating. Which uh, is another thing you should be conscious of. How many bullets do you have? If you're not engaged with anyone make sure you're full. Because if you if you come across somebody, having extra bullets is an advantage over him. If he's like at half a clip, you've got a full clip, you're both spamming like crazy, well, you just have the advantage because of numbers right there. So take every advantage or every opportunity you can to reload and make sure your gun is full. And another thing you'll want to constantly do is uh, heal. If, if you're taking damage, don't be afraid to take a little bit of cover, drop a med pack, and heal up. That's another advantage you can have over your your opponent is if he's wounded and you're not, I mean, there you go. That's a, a, another thing you'll see people do is sit on med packs. Now, that basically means that as you're taking damage, you're also healing. So that's another slight advantage you can have over your opponent. Now, that means you typically have to stay stationary, and in TDM, that's not something you generally want to do, but. You know, don't be afraid to, to camp out on a med pack and, and try to get some kills if you find yourself in a good position. So here I am. I'm still trying to get in their spawn. I'm just getting too greedy right here. I exposed myself too much, got on top of that box, and was basically easy pickings for anyone who could see me. So you definitely want to try and maintain cover. Don't get overly aggressive. Find a good spot and take advantage of it. So here I'm coming out of my spawn again. You see, there's someone who subscribes to my philosophy working the perimeter, but I kind of caught him, caught him sleeping. 
And here I make another mistake. That's the same guy with the MP7. He's in his his uh, wheelhouse right now, being mid to close range with me, and I'm just trying to outgun him and get the headshot. Just uh, just couldn't do it there. So be smart. Play to your strengths. Play to your weapon strengths. At least whatever weapon you're using at the time. And I probably could have switched to the Rex, but eh, I wasn't really thinking about it. So I got a guy above me here. I'm taking damage. Immediately falling back to cover and healing, and I started peeking and thought better because I'm already pretty wounded and I don't want to get taken down. Try to go for the Tom Brady nade here, but overshot it a little bit. And take him out with the headshot. Still kind of camping out on that med pack here, burst firing, trying to get some, some kills because they're, they're obviously rushing at me, they know where I'm at. But uh, just too many. This leads me to my next point. Don't don't get frustrated. I'm extremely guilty of this, but in TDM, it's just one of those things. You're going to die a lot, usually. You hope that your teammates revive you, but more often than not in a pub, that's not going to happen. You just got to remain calm and realize that, you know, occasionally you're going to have a bad round and things aren't going to go your way, but uh, if you just utilize some of these principles that I'm talking about, I think you'll find yourself being more successful on the whole. So, just to recap, survey the situation. Use your mini-map to your advantage, figure out where your enemy's spawning at, and try to get behind it. Work the perimeter for the big payoff, rather than just settling for a couple of easy kills off the spawn. You might have to slow play and be a bit more deliberate with your decision making, but if you think about your next move and how it can potentially pay off for you, you'll end up getting those big payoffs. Burst fire. Burst fire, burst fire. Don't waste those bullets. Control the recoil, and you'll be more accurate. If you're more accurate, you're going to get more kills. You're not going to die as much because you're not wasting so many bullets. Maintain your advantage. Use cover. Head glitches. Be sure to reload. Keep that, keep that clip full, ready for your next engagement. Heal up, and don't be afraid to take cover if you need to. Flank. Work those perimeters and get behind them. And above all, don't get frustrated. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this first video, this uh, commentary of mine. I'll hopefully be having many more to come, maybe some how-to videos. If you've got any suggestions, if you've got any comments, anything at all, feel free to post it in the comment section or contact me directly. And in the mean meantime, I, I thank you for watching. I hope you uh, like it. Subscribe, comment. Until next time, this is Mess. Peace out. Squad. Oh! Part of jungle. I just got yeah, Here's your med kit. Planting. Jungle. Just get down. I'm gonna kill all of them. Squad wipe. Squad wipe. I'm gonna be straight side. Good setup up there.